All right, what is up guys? We are back in the kayak today, and today we are in search of striped bass, and not just any striped bass, freshwater striped bass. So for most of the Bay Area striped bass fishing videos, most of those are done out in the ocean or in the bay, in salt water. But there are a few places here in the Bay Area that hold landlocked striped bass, um, and that's exactly what we're doing today. We're trolling out here, We've got two rods, I got one, my normal rod set up here on the downrigger. Um, and that's gonna be at 30 feet to start out. That's just right in the middle of the uh, water column. If I see more marks on the bottom, I'll drop it down a little more. More marks on top, I'll bring it up a little bit. And I also, just to keep it interesting, I have my trout set up. And this is actually a new rod, I'll talk more about it later. But basically, if I catch some of this, it's gonna be an adventure. So, we got a little chop on the water this morning. It's overcast, not too bad. Uh, it'd be nice if this wind calmed down a little bit, but we'll see. Other than that, all the thing left to do is catch some fish. Either my minnow's getting freaked out or something's chasing this one. Yep, oh, fish on. Oh, nope, missed it. Definitely had a bite though. Come back for it. Something's on it, something's on it. Oh, didn't get it, whatever it was. Yeah, it looks like something tagged him. Stripe posts don't have the big teeth that like a halibut or a lingcod or some of the other game fish that we have, salmon, those kind of fish. Striped bass don't have big mouth or big teeth like that. They do have sandpaper in their mouths. Their teeth are like real, real small. It's almost like sandpaper. So a lot of times when they hit the bait, they don't. It's not like they would bite a big chunk of it off. But um, it just kind of looks like something hit the side of the bait. So a lot of the scales are missing. I'm gonna go back over that spot. All right, let's reset and do this again. There's a bald, bald eagle over there. Wish I had a nicer lens, I'd be able to get a good shot of him for you. Maybe on the DHF Christmas list for, Christmas list for 2020. That's actually the third bald eagle I've seen in the past couple weeks. They must be migrating through here or something right now. You don't normally see them here very often, but but I saw one while trout fishing. I saw one driving back from the beach on Highway 17, if you're familiar with the area. And then I just saw this one, third one. I know up in Oregon, Washington, and like Alaska, you can see them all over the place. But here they're pretty pretty rare. Yep, there's fish on here. Yep, fish on. Finally. Right in the same spot where I got the last bite. Got another one here. 
if we can keep going. I'll leave my other line in. Maybe I'll get a double. We'll see. Looks like a good one. Finally got one to stick. I've had a couple other bites that just haven't stuck. I think just kind of probably some smaller fish out there just kind of pecking at the bait. There we go. Get the skunk off the board. Not a giant, but there we go. Fish number one, and we're right over a big school of fish. I wouldn't be surprised if this other rod went off here. Got him right in the corner of the mouth there. I don't think this is going to be keeper. Looking for 18 inches here in California. Striped bass legal limit is 18 inches. I have a feeling this guy's like 16. I'm going to guess. I'm going to say 16. Yeah, we're right over a big, big school of fish right here. Got my trusty bump board. Oh, you know what? He's right at 18. He's actually 18 and a half. He would be a legal fish, but I'm gonna let him go. First one of the day, we're gonna look for something a little bit bigger. But there we go. No skunk. So all I'm doing right here is I'm just trolling back and forth through the same spot to where I got, I got a couple bites first and then I finally was able to hook that last one. And what it is is there's this point off to my right side here. I think, it's, I think you'll be able to pick it up with that camera. It goes off and out into the underneath the water here. So we got kind of a little underwater point right here where I think there's probably some bait getting pushed up against it. And this is where that big school of fish is that I showed you right after catching that last fish. And just trolling back and forth, going over it. I can see on the fish finder, once I hit that school, I can, I mean, you saw the picture. There's fish all over the place. Right there. He looks like he's looking for some fish. Uh, oh, he thought about it. He thought about it. Oh, here it comes. Gonna, there it goes, right there. We're gonna get a fruit. Oh, oh, nope. He thought about it though. He definitely was thinking about it. Here it comes again. Oh, I wish I had my DSLR. I keep circling back around to try and scoop it up, I'm assuming. Here he comes again, let's see. Oh, look at that bird, that's a huge bird. He wants to go like right here. Look at him, there he goes, there he goes. Ooh, not quite. He might be a little too uh, shy because I'm right here. Here he goes again. He keeps circling back around to right here. He comes back around. Oh, oh. He's definitely thinking about it. There must be something in the water right there. There he goes. No, nope, not quite. Oh, you know what? I think I see what he's looking at. Let's see what he's looking at. There might be a dead fish just floating on the surface over here. Here he comes again. Right over top. Yeah, there's some some kind of fish just floating right here. It could be like partially alive maybe. Let's see. I think it's a shad of some sort. Oh no, it's a oh yeah, it's a shad. Oh and it's still alive. Look at that. 
<laughs> well, if I was going for the big boys, this is what I'd throw on there, but I think I'll stick with my current setup. So look at this thing. If I wanted to catch a big one, big striper, that's exactly what I'd put on right there. Basically, those minnows that we're using are just really small versions of that, which swim around here. And striper get really big in here. I mean, they can get up to like 60 pounds. I think the record, I don't know what the record is. I think it's probably around there somewhere. And uh, that's exactly what they're eating, get that big. So anyway, let's release him. I'm not sure he's gonna make it, but maybe that bald eagle will come back and get him. Yeah, that's, a, that's probably like a one pound bait right there. I don't think he's gonna make it, but maybe that bird will come back and get him. Those are the baits we're using right there. Like I said, just basically a smaller version of that big old mega shad. All right guys, that's gonna wrap it up for me today. We had quite a few bites and a lot of action early on in the morning when I first got out here. It was kind of like every pass through that one little spot I was getting hit. But since then, I've been trolling around for about two and a half hours with no action other than the one fish that I was able to net. So I don't know, I think the bite's kind of turned off now. We're gonna head in. But let me just show you the setup that I used to catch that one. That fish is a G Loomis nine foot with a Shimano Calcutta 400. This is my normal salmon setup. And since we're using a downrigger out here today, it's pretty much the same, same deal. Just striped bass instead of a salmon. And the one rod that I kind of teased in the beginning of the video, my trout rod, this is a Ray Fishing Phantom, which is a local guy I met while I was out on the lake a couple videos back, and he hooked me up with some of his rods. And I really like him actually. This one is a eight and a half foot. It's basically my slightly heavier trout rod or my super finesse, either striped bass like we're doing here or surf rod. So. Expect to see this rod more in, in future videos. It's super light, really like the action. The only kind of drawback or thing that I wish it had more was a longer butt. So it's kind of a short butt, but anyway, I'll leave it linked in the description below if you want to check it out. Really like this one, and I actually have a few more that you'll see coming up in future videos. So quick video out here. I do want to come back one more time before the big ocean season starts, which is salmon, rockfish, halibut, all that stuff is coming up in about a month or so. So not much time left, but I do want to come back out here one more time, see if I can get some more sharper than I did today. So thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next one.